Welcome everyone, I hope you are having a fantastic day. As I record this video, Microsoft have recently released their next generation of consoles, namely the Xbox Series S and the Xbox Series X. The X model is the more expensive and more powerful console, and it is the model advertised as offering true 4K for gaming, with the Series S being advertised as offering 1440p. So the question is, is it worth buying the more powerful Series X if you only have a 1080p monitor or TV to use it with? If you have a 1080p screen, is it worth upgrading to the Series X from one of the older Xbox consoles? That's what I'm going to answer in this video. First off, I want to cover all the benefits the Series X offers which you can enjoy if you have it connected to a 1080p screen. Some of these will also apply to the Series S in varying degrees, but I'm focusing on the X model for this video. At the end of the video, I'll discuss why I think it's a better choice for 1080p gaming than the Series S, and I'll clarify the main differences between the two consoles, so it'll be very clear the benefits that the X offers. I want to begin by covering a number of very important benefits and features the Series X console offers before moving on to discussing graphics and how games will look much better even at 1080p on the Series X. One of the first benefits you'll notice with the Series X is that it is an extremely well made console which runs very quiet and very cool, especially considering all the power that rests inside its case. The tried and tested Xbox controller returns with some minor improvements which are nice, but most importantly Microsoft have improved response times on the Series X, and made this feature available on older compatible X1 controllers as well via a firmware update. So this means that, as long as you are using a compatible controller, you will experience faster response times between your controller input and the resulting actions on screen. Inside the console is a 1TB SSD drive which means that any operations involving use of the drive will be performed very quickly. This includes installing games to the drive, and also games running from the drive will load quicker. Generally speaking, developers can pull data from the drive or write to it very quickly, which results in a smooth responsive experience for us end users. Due to the fast SSD drive and the Series X being so powerful, we now have a quick resume feature, which as the name suggests, lets us jump back into games and resume from the point at which we last played very quickly. This is very useful, but I feel that, as I record this video, some work still needs to be done to get this feature working perfectly. While I'm talking about user experience benefits, it's also noticeable that the Xbox dashboard now operates very responsively indeed. The next big benefit of the Series X is that it really offers the best way to play older Xbox games. Microsoft really have made a huge effort to ensure fans can play so many of their older favourite games at their very best. These old games running on Series X will benefit from faster load times, they may run at higher resolution than they did on older Xbox consoles, and just to remind you I'll be discussing graphics more shortly, the game frame rates will be more stable, and they take advantage of the lower input latency that I mentioned earlier. These benefits apply to literally thousands of games from the original Xbox through to Xbox 360 and also Xbox One, and all this can be enjoyed of course if you're using a 1080p screen. Many existing games, and of course new releases, have been optimised for the Xbox Series X console. Such games have faster load times, improved graphics, be it in terms of features and or resolution, and also steadier frame rates which can now reach up to 120 frames per second on supported titles. The previous generation of Xbox games reached a maximum of 60 frames per second, but now on Series X, as long as you have a screen that supports 120Hz, on the Series X some games will run at up to 120 frames per second. This feature is available on compatible 1080p screens and it results in a much smoother and more responsive gameplay. I can't talk about games without mentioning of course Game Pass. This is a fantastic way, at a very reasonable price, 
to have access to what is currently over 100 games to download, from old classics to games released more recently, all the way up to brand new titles. A lot of these have been optimised for Xbox Series X, and have recently been really enjoying playing through Halo Reach. Some of these slightly older games had such good gameplay and interesting game worlds that they still stand the test of time today, especially after being updated. Using Halo Reach as an example, it may not have the very latest graphical effects and features, but it still looks absolutely stunning. It is incredibly sharp and detailed on my 1080p monitor, and it is running at 120Hz, making it a sheer joy to play. Personally, I'm really glad that Microsoft have put such effort into letting us play older games on the very latest hardware, but don't forget Game Pass will also include a lot of day one releases too. The Medium was recently added, and I'm really looking forward to Halo Infinite when that launches too. Some more benefits that you can enjoy at 1080p or Full HD includes fantastic sound due to the new 3D spatial audio. Using some nice headphones you'll really feel like you are in the middle of your games. There is a new Auto HDR mode which automatically adds high dynamic range to games which were designed to have only standard dynamic range. So if you have an HDR screen, you'll benefit from deeper colours and better contrast. But I wouldn't expect this to work perfectly on all titles, so it's something you should investigate on a per title basis. Moving on, the Series X supports variable refresh rate technology, so with a compatible screen this will keep your games looking smooth even if their frame rate dips under the intended target which has been set by the developers, such as 60 or 120 frames per second. Let's now talk a bit more about graphics. Games on the Series X look fantastic, and this is especially true of new games written to take advantage of the console's power. Such titles are The Medium or Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. I've already mentioned how some titles, including Cold War, run at up to 120 frames per second, which makes for incredibly smooth gameplay, but new titles will feature enhanced graphical effects which look stunning. One such example is ray tracing, which makes games have very realistic lighting, reflections and shadows. This will look amazing on a 1080p screen and elevates titles running on Series X above what previous Xbox consoles could achieve. The console also has the power to process much more detail in general, so in terms of AI you may see more non-player characters on screen, you may see greater draw distances, more foliage, better textures and so on. This, like everything else I've mentioned, can all be enjoyed on a full HD screen. As 1080p screen users, we can still benefit greatly from the machine's ability to run games at 4K. The Series X will render games internally at resolutions of up to 4K. Then to display it on our 1080p screen, it downscales it. This is called super sampling and the result is a much clearer, much sharper image than if the game had been rendered directly at 1080p. I notice this makes a huge difference and games really do look fantastic. This can also benefit older Xbox titles too. If they were developed to run with a dynamic resolution, the Series X will take advantage of that. So perhaps on older consoles a title maxed out at say 1080p, the X will now have the power to run that title at or near 4K, meaning the super sample result that we see in our screens will look much sharper than had we been running that title on previous older hardware. So hopefully by now it should be clear that there are many fantastic features 1080p screen users can benefit from on the Xbox Series X console. But what about Series S? Can we not enjoy all these benefits on it too? Let me explain why I think that. Even though the Series S is a great console and fantastic value, the X is a much better choice for 1080p gaming. First off, the S has no optical disk drive, so if you have a collection of disk based games you want to play or will be buying in the future, you simply need the X. The S is designed to play games which have been downloaded, but unfortunately although it has a fast SSD drive, 
The capacity is much less than that the Series X offers. It's 512 gigabytes versus one terabyte on the X. And also remember that some of that 512 gigabytes is reserved for the console itself. So you'll have much less space than that to actually store games. In terms of power, the Series S is considerably less powerful than the Series X. The CPU runs slower, it has less power in the graphics department, and it also has less memory. The result of this is that games will have compromises and they won't look as good on Series S. For example, they may have to omit certain graphical features such as ray tracing or a 120 frames per second mode or just run at lower frames per second in general, such as 30 on the Series S, where the Series X could potentially manage 60 in a specific title. Even if they do have a 120 frames per second mode, it will most likely run at a lower resolution on Series S, so the image won't look as sharp. Other sacrifices that may need to be made on the Series S are to use lower texture quality, have less detailed environments, use lower quality shadows, and so on. In simple terms, I could generally describe this by saying that most titles on Series X will run at a higher quality setting. So for example, high setting on Series X versus medium setting on Series S in terms of quality. Next, let's discuss resolution. Although marketed as offering 1440p resolution, many games are not reaching that on Series S. Some are running at a maximum of 1080p, and some are actually dipping at a lower resolution beneath that. So these games just won't look as sharp on a full HD screen as the Series X would running these same titles. Also, we need to consider super sampling again. The simple fact is that the Series X will render games internally at a higher resolution than the S is capable of. So after they get downscaled to 1080p, it will always offer the sharper and clearer image on the Series X. The final difference that I think is worth pointing out is regarding backwards compatibility of Xbox One games. The Series S can only enhance Xbox One S games, whereas the Series X can enhance Xbox One X versions of titles, which were typically the best versions of games. So there we have it. In my opinion, those are all the main points that I think is worth covering in this video. I think the Xbox Series X is a fantastic console. It's very powerful and it is absolutely worth buying if you own a 1080p Full HD screen, as you can still benefit from it greatly and play fantastic looking games which have many performance benefits. Moving forward, you will need either the Series S or the Series X to play the latest titles optimised for these consoles, and I've explained why, if you can afford it, I think the Series X really is the best choice. I hope you found this video useful, if you did, give it a like rating, consider subscribing to my channel, and I will see you soon for another video.